The purpose of this video is to show you what Google Drive looks like for your students and also how to organize things on your end. Let's pretend we're a student and we're coming over to my Google Drive. As you'll see right now, I see I'm in Avi's English class and there are two folders that the teacher has created for me. If I go inside class one, I can see over here there is some resources, a video file, I can click on that and I can play the video and so on. It's quite easy to navigate. In this part of the video, I'm going to show you how I set that all up as the teacher. So right now we're looking at my Google Drive on the teacher account. The only thing I have in here is a video that I've created in Explain Everything and uploaded to my Google Drive. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to click on New and I'm going to create a folder. I'm going to call this Avi's English class. As you'll see over here, I now have an English class folder. Google Drive is great, very easy to use. I can simply drag and drop the video file into the English class folder. Next, what I'm going to do is double click to go inside the folder. And in order to better organize things, I'd like to make a folder for each one of my classes. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to right click, choose new folder, class 1, I'm going to right click again, and I'm going to make a class 2, and I can do it on and on. For now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this first recording MP4, and I'm going to just simply drag and drop it into class 1. I can now go inside class 1, and there you go, there, my video file is now in the class 1 folder. You can also refer over to the left-hand side over here, which gives you a tree view of all the different folders in your Google Drive. The great thing about Google Drive is you can upload any documents from your computer. So I can right click and choose upload files and now I can upload files from my computer such as Word documents, PowerPoints or whatnot. The last thing I want to do is I want to share my Google Drive with my students. I want my students to be able to easily access all this stuff. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go and look on the left hand side and I'm going to click on my drive and this will bring me to the root of my Google Drive directory. What I want to do is right click on Avi's English class, next click on share, next click on get shareable link, and what Google Drive will do is it's going to give me a very long complicated link but anyone with this link can view my folder. For now what I'm going to do is I'm going to right click on it and I'm going to choose copy and then done. Now in this last part of the video, I'm going to use the tinyurl website to take that long complicated link and make it something easy for my students to type and remember. I'll show you how that works. I want to go over to the tinyurl website, which I've preloaded over here, and I'm going to right click and I'm going to choose paste. What that's going to do is going to paste in that long complicated link that we just copied from our Google Drive. Next, I want to give it a custom alias, something that's easy for my students to remember. In this case here, I'm going to make it Avi Ing Class. So I hit Make Tiny URL. And now, as you can see, this long link over here has been shortened to something very simple, tinyurl.com slash Avi Ing Class. So to finish this off, this is how easy it would be for your students. Right now, I grabbed an iPad. And I'm going to go over here as if I was a student and go over to the address that we created on tinyurl. As you'll notice, it didn't ask the student for a username or a password. The student just gets right into the Google Drive. What they'll see is class 1 or class 2, so they can click on class 1. And in there they have the first recording that we uploaded from Explain Everything. They can just give that a click. And again, the neat part is, is that they don't need to create an account in order to view all this.